to show you how to add a call to action button to an organic post. So right now I'm on a Facebook page and as you can see here, it's just a standard post on their Facebook page. So normally a lot of tutorial videos will show you how to add a call to action button to like a preview link. Um, this one's a little bit different. Now in order to do this, you're gonna need a business manager account and an ads manager account. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go over to business.facebook.com. And once you're here, you wanna click ads manager. And then here you're gonna go through the actual process of creating an ad. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna hit create. We're gonna do a traffic campaign. And then we're gonna hit continue. Hit next. For the ad set, this isn't really very important. Um, we're not setting up any targeting because this won't actually be an ad. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then here you wanna make sure that the right Facebook page is selected. And then here's where you actually create the ad. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna add in media. So it could be an image or a video. In this case, I'm gonna add an image. All right, so I added in my image. Now I'm just gonna add some primary text. For this example, I'm just gonna keep it short. Um, you can add in a headline as well. So normally if you've set up ads before, you can have a headline next to your call to action button. For this example, I'm going to leave that blank and I'm going to leave the description blank as well. This is kind of the headline or link description. Um, you want to make sure that you have the correct URL. And then here's where you actually add in your call to action. So you have plenty of options to choose from. In this case, I'm just gonna go with the standard shop now call to action button. And as you can see here, this is what the post is gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. And then this next step is very important. You wanna make sure that you turn the actual ad off because we don't want it to run and you don't want it to spend money. So make sure that you turn that off. Once that's complete, now you wanna go over to business tools and you wanna click page posts. Again, make sure that the right account up here is selected. And then you wanna click add posts. So here at the top is the ad that we went ahead and created and that should be shut off now. Again, make sure that you've done that. And then you come up here, you click actions, and then you can either schedule it or you can go ahead and actually publish it. For this example, I'm gonna publish it so I can show you that it goes directly to the organic Facebook feed. Go ahead and hit publish. And now you can see that our organic post is live. And what's nice about this too, is that the actual, this is all clickable. So if I click right here, it'll take you, the person to the actual website. And that is how you add a call to action button to an organic post.